What's up everybody? I'm just coming to you with a super quick video on the huge update, huge tiny update that uh, Raven put out for Warzone today. Um, so let's go ahead and quick get into it and then I'll quick go over, to the up over the update from a few days ago since I didn't uh, talk about that at all. So I'm already on the webs on Raven's website on their blog post where they update their patch notes and here we go. July 2nd update. Gameplay. Some thoughts on perks. We are all exploring we are exploring all avenues in terms of changes to provide fair and reactable counterplay options to dead silence. A decision like this must be made carefully, especially considering how it may destabilize other aspects of the game. We cannot promise anything at this moment, but as we close in on an appropriate solution, we will share more details. Sit tight. I'm I would still be in favor of just removing dead silence altogether. But if they're going to keep Dead Silence in, we might as well have some way of being able to counter Dead Silence. Because right now it's just ridiculous that you can't hear anybody and they can just run up and kill you. Uh, especially with how many players could be in an area and you just don't know. And it's just, and it's so RNG, you can't buy it in a shop or anything. I'm thinking either Tracker or High Alert's going to have some way of hearing or seeing somebody with Dead Silence. And I still think there should be an application process to Dead Silence. Like there is a stopping power, have to load that in your gun. You should have to put on dead silence, whether it's like putting on a plate or strapping something on or whatever. But I really think it'll either be um, high alert or it'll be tracker that will get some uh, buff to uh, counter dead silence, which will be interesting because that'll change either the ghost or the antimatter for those slots. Uh, weapons. Here's the other big part uh, and the most important part because this is actually going to affect today part of the update the mg82 is getting its nerf uh, maximum damage decreased from 30 to 29 minimum damage decreased from 28 to 27 headshot multiplier decreased from 1.3 to 1.2 upper chest multiplier decreased from 1.1 to 1 extremities multiplier decreased from 1 to 0.9 vertical and horizontal recoil increased so it's going to do less damage um it's going to do it's going to have a lot less damage range and these multipliers are all going down a fair amount. And so this thing will not hit as hard. And it'll be harder to control with the increased recoil. Not that it was super hard to control before. And I hope they didn't wipe this gun out of uh, viability. I'm going to go ahead and play around with that. If I, uh, Depending on my thoughts on it, I may make another video on that. If not, I'll have a loadout video coming later in the week. And we'll see if it makes it into that. Uh, they... Raven said we had envisioned the MG82 as a short to mid-range light machine gun given its relatively fast handling, mobility, and rate of fire. I don't really feel any faster with this LMG than I do with the other ones, but maybe I just don't feel it. However, it also retained many powerful LMG traits like damage profile, bullet velocity, and magazine size, all while having negligible recoil. So yeah, I think they wanted to still keep most of this. As you can see, they didn't touch bullet velocity, but they did touch the damage. And they're not going to touch the mag size because it's an LMG. And then they did touch the negligible recoil. These factors in combination created one of the most dominant weapons to land in Verdansk. Do not be deceived by the magnitude of these changes. The damage from magazine and rate of fire is still top tier. So we expect the MG82 to remain viable. We'll see. Um, submachine guns, nail gun. Please don't touch my nail gun. Uh, we will be keeping a close eye on the nail gun. We feel it kills a out a bullet faster than we would like with an extremely low rate of fire weapons they cannot be on a razor's ed they can be on a razor's edge of balance where in missing a single shot can turn an incredibly fast time to kill into one of the slowest in its class this is not the case with the nail gun now but it but if it required an additional bullet to kill and nothing else changed it likely would be so we may push and pull some of its functionality to ensure it fulfills its role as a highly mobile close range full auto dominator that can rival shotgun ttks but rapidly wanes in efficacy the further enemies are from you they are just nails after all so this thing has a fairly decent faster time to kill than the cold war mp5 but it drops off around 16 meters instead of around 10 or 11 meters so it is the by far the most dominant smg right now Unless you're looking for sniper support. And even then, depending on how aggressive you are with your car or your Swiss, uh, you could use this as sniper support. So I really think it needs more of just a uh, damage range drop off. Make it similar to the MP5. Maybe do a little bit less damage. Bring it more in line, at least with the Cold War MP5. Since it's a uh, full auto dominator for close range that can rival shotgun TTKs like the Cold War MP5. So bring it somewhere in line with that. And I think we're good. 
Bug fixes. Fixed an issue that was causing some players to have to restart the game in order to unlock a gifted battle pass. Fixed an issue causing tier skips to not apply properly when receiving a gifted battle pass bundle. Fixed a lock control room door and salt mine that was killing players instantly upon contact. Fixed an issue causing players to lose control of their operator after walking through a red door if another player had previously died while going through it. Fixed an issue while some QBZ blueprints would cause players to crash. And then quick on the June 18th update, they just added uh, new weapon challenges for those that didn't unlock the PPSH or Swiss last season. And they just uh, fixed some bugs. Uh, placeholder image receiving a gift from player in Black Ops. An issue causing Xana's third operator mission to not track. Fix an issue causing Soldier Fortune Challenge to grant a different calling card. Fix an issue where hovering over Power Surge Reactive Bundle would force the player back to main menu. Fix an issue where players could only access the options menu while queued for a match. Fix an issue where the receiving battle pass is a gift would crash when entering the title selection menu. So, just some bug fixes. Uh, some notes about what they're thinking about doing, like countering Dead Silence and nerfing the submachine gun. And then the huge news being the MG82 nerf. Um, they said it should still remain viable. We'll see. I know I'm going to be playing with this thing uh, as soon as I can and finding out for myself. Uh, I hope this video is helpful. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in Verdance. Get frying. Bye.